seat walls. I always tell my people when they're doing designs, two things are my favorite. And that, number one is seat walls, and number two is lighting. Lighting, we got plenty of videos on that. But let's talk about seat walls right now. About 18 to 24 inches high. You don't want to go over 24 inches because then it's not seat level. You know, not many people know this, but the seats in your house, if you measure with a tape measure, brings you up to 18 inches. That's standard. Sometimes they're a little bit uh, larger, but 18 is standard. So 18 inches for the top of the seat wall, but 20 to 22, sometimes I feel outside gives you a little bit more structure, looks a little bit better. And this particular wall actually measures out at 23 inches. So this is a taller seat wall. But what does it, if I take this seat wall out of this design and I just have the patio here, boom, the whole, in my opinion, the whole space changes. It doesn't give you that structure, that scale, okay? So you can see here, this is a wet laid wall, which means these stones are all held in concrete. If you travel the Landscape Exchange website much, you will learn that wet laid is held with concrete and has a concrete footing. And sometimes has uh, cinder blocks behind it, or sometimes the stones go all the way through, and then you put it together sort of like a custom puzzle. So a wet laid seat wall or any wet laid surface is going to be a little bit more money, but a seat wall, if you can fork out the extra dough, which isn't that much, ask your local mason, um, is well worth the investment, in my opinion. Put them in, seat walls, do lots of creative things with them. I'm going to show you more seat walls in other videos. Let's go. Boom!